this madness. Got him. Oh, he's gonna hit it. He's hit it. here and this heap of reddies busting up right on the ramp so ping one in here first Going nuts here. Freddy's everywhere. Pink one in there. Got one. <laughs> right on the boat ramp. Oops. He's not happy. I had to go far. But he's definitely not happy. It's buzzing around. Look at this madness. Got him. Even got the lecky in. <laughs> I'll just float it off the edge. Where are they going? Where have they gone? one out here. I'll bust up now. <laughs> good start. Really good start. Oh, they're over the back now. So Ranga Basin, always a bit choppy out here, like there is calm days but you can expect it to be choppy, it does blow up pretty bad pretty quickly so you got to keep an eye on the weather out here. Head up here, try and get in a little bit more shelter and try and get onto the ready, it's been a good start obviously, we've got a few on the ramp there so hopefully it'll stay that way a little bit longer, we've got probably three hours left of daylight so just a quick session. We'll, um, See if we can't 
can't get on the deck. Couple of meters of water, she's pretty shallow, so throw the lecky in from here and see what we can't catch. You're on a move. On a move, right? Oh, yep, that's them there. <laughs> yep, got him. <laughs> Knew they were there. See you later, buddy. Toss one out, I suppose. Oh, got him. Oh, he's a bit better. He's a nice little ready. He's a good fish. Straight beneath the boat here, I know the jig for these ones. Bang, on the bottom. Hop, hop. Not interested. <clears throat> Found out here in the basin, unlike, say, Eildon or any other sort of redfin fisheries where you can jig for them, I'll almost only always, in my experience, hit a moving lure, like a casted and retrieved lure, not jigged. They just, I don't know, don't seem to like it as much. Got him. Oh, he was tiny. Oh wow, look at that school there. I'll make a liar of myself here and catch one jigging. Yep. <laughs> Little fellas. Big school sitting right there. Should be able to get a few more of these. We'd hope. Straight out there. Yep. Not a little one. Oh, feels all right. They fight well in here. Oh yeah, 
Massive school here. Dancing, look at him go. <laughs> oh, well, right behind the boat. Eat it with your mouth, mate. Predicted to stay about the same. Not gonna get any rain. 35, 30. Still got two and a half hours of daylight. Jeez. It's overcast, it just doesn't seem like it. Alright. So one more ping at this school. Got him. <laughs> yep. He's not happy. Calm down, fella. Is it already? Skinny one. He needed a feed. <laughs> Go eat a real fish. Went over for a look at the channel. Wasn't much good. Nothing over there, it's just dead. Over there. Got him. Just a little one, this guy. <laughs> He's tiny. Very tiny. Straight behind us. Now we're on. Come on. I knew I could hear him. Oh, I dropped him. Got him. Oh, dropped him again. Got him that time. <laughs> Just a little tacker. He's not happy, he's not going nuts. Quick release. There's a couple of bigger ones sitting mid water here, too. See if we can't snag this one because he's a better fish. 
He's a much better fish. Right on top of him there. Oh, he's spooked. Oh, he's gonna hit it. He's hit it. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> he's cruising on his own, this one. Slightly better, still no monster. He's off. He was on that the moment he saw that, he just hightailed for it. Oh, yep, yeah. got him. This one's come straight off the, ooh, uh-oh. Straight off the bottom there. Um, Wank her up here for a sec. That would hurt. If you ask Disco about a story of pinning a fish in the tail, he'll, um, he's got a story he loves telling. <laughs> now the fish was a little bit bigger than that though. Starting to really cool off now. Sun behind the clouds. Wouldn't mind getting the boat on the trailer before dark. We are literally like at the boat ramp obviously, so. No drive to get back or anything, but she sets off pretty quick here. Going up on this cast, I reckon. I'm lying. Tell them, Fibs. <laughs> Another awesome feature with these uh, hummingbirds. If you have got a, um, be it a G3N, G4N, or any networking unit that accepts NEMA compatibility, you can run your engine gauges through it, providing your engine is EFI or some of the earlier OptiMax Mercs actually had the data output. Um, so rather than having, you know, your typical analog gauges or say a square digital gauge or a Merck Smartcraft round gauge, you can actually just run all your engine information through the sounder, your SOG, so speed over ground here, uh, trim, engine temp, RPMs, engine hours, 4.7 hours, so this isn't the first outboard I've had on this boat the 90s there was a little bit of a weight on it so uh, Mark at Wallace Marine and Honda were nice enough to lend me a 75 horsepower to put on there until the 90 turned up so I think we put about 35 hours on the 75 originally and 
yeah had this one on for just shy of five hours now but for me i just really like the simplicity of the dash without anything too much going on last cast That'll do us, I reckon. <sighs> She's home. wraps us up session out here at Waranga Basin I want to say there was probably a dozen fish maybe a couple more around 12 12 or 14 I'd say have to have a flick through and have a look um, all caught on the little pearl proficient lure Always does well out here. It always does well everywhere, actually. But um, yeah, ripping day. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.